Ladies and gentlemen, Mom versus James Brown. We have never seen Mom as pumped as we see her today. She is playing against her biggest rival, and by the looks of it, she is ready to win. Got it, we're moving to Argentina. Ken, you know I love you. You can stay with that. Got it, pack your bags. Ken, Pop got a brand new bag. <laughs> Got in? You can watch soccer whenever you want. Soccer? Whenever I want? Goal! Argentina 1, United States 0. You know, Ma, you go ahead and handle your business. I'm going to handle mine. I'm going to buy myself a motorcycle and traveling through Latin America, starting with Mexico, to watch the biggest event in the world, the World Cup. I have to watch the game live. Buenos Aires, here I am. The blues and whites are light, they light my path. My Via Silvia picked us up from the airport. My Via Silvia, she drinks and drives. <laughs> well, she drinks mate. It's our drink. It gets you hot. <laughs> but it's not weed. Even though it's green and it looks like weed, and the board makes it look like a water pipe. <laughs> <laughs> we drove on a freeway with many walls along the side that had graffiti on it. Graffiti never looks so boring. It just says stuff. Yankees equals the punta? <laughs> I didn't know they liked baseball here. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie, no es baseball. <laughs> no, no. Los Yankees son americanos. Ouch. American sons of bitches? Thieves, asesinos. The words strike, but they mean a great deal, but they sure are ugly. In LA, at least the graffiti has color in it. Puto asshole. Buenos Aires graffiti is straight up in your face and up your ass. Just the word, not a pretty picture. How much did that spray paint cost? Was it stolen? The need to get Yankees hijos de puta on that freeway wall was unveiled in the penmanship of that spray. The letters come from a frustrated grip, a mark placed for all drivers going to and from the airport to read and digest. But why? Tia, have you seen Diego play? Diego, this is un boreola. Oh, poor Tia. There was anything that was shocking is that there were Argentines that did not like Diego Maradona. That was crazy. <laughs> Welcome to the World Cup Mexico. England, Argentina's biggest rival in the 1986 quarterfinal game. This is the most intense game I have seen in this World Cup. The rivalry intensifies, especially knowing Argentina and England's not-so-long-ago political war. There was a war? I have an idea. Why don't we go to the plaza to listen to the game together? Bueno, Silvia, if you think that's a good idea, got it? Stay close. Listen to the game! Well, I guess it's better than nothing. Oh, you just wait and see! <laughs> Diego Maradona, our secret weapon, 
singing the national anthem. Well, not so much a secret when you have five defenders on one tiny, magical speck of a man. Diego Maradona is magic. Abracadabra gold. He's a 5-4 magician that does things to the ball that only men and women who have 150-year-old feet can do. He spins like ancient wheels that last so long all generations can see. He dazzles and disappears between five men trying to tackle him like a football. Then the referee turns his head. Diego goes down, but he gets right up undefeated by their trickery. Now it's time for you to go down, you guys. Maradona jumps. He heads the ball. Goal! <laughs> The referee is shaking his head. The English pleading and pleading that it was had, but the referee says no. It's the second half, and we finally see a goal. It was a goal! And Diego takes the green turf once again. Momentous. He looks, he sees six men pounding their feet ready for him. Come on, Diego, you can do it. He passes the ball, and he heads into the sea of English bastards. The ball comes back, it twirls and momentarily, abracadabra, he caresses it with his feet. One, two men fly past them, then another one, he passes the ball above their head, then another one, he dances on their shadow, then another one, he kicks the ball, it pauses in midair, his foot, invisibly drenched in magic dust, kicks the ball. <laughs> Thank you. 